Hello everyone, uh, today we'll do a solving video of a um, slightly unusual puzzle. As you can see, it's an 8 by 8 puzzle, which normally would use the numbers 1 through 8. But this is a puzzle from 0, so instead we're using the numbers 0 through 7. Now, the first thing I'd like to do when solving a puzzle from 0 is to figure out where the zeros are. I see uh, there are a couple uh, zeros given that one and this one. Uh, and <clears throat> I see these cages like this one, this is, uh, zero with the division symbol. Now, zero divided by a number or numbers is always zero. So I know this cage has a zero, and I also know it's in this row. But looking down a bit, I see another uh, zero division cage. So I know this one will have a zero. So therefore, I know the actual zero is here. Looking at uh, another one, so this one is given, so I know there's a zero in this row, so therefore I know that the zero is there. Similarly, that one is given, so I know the zero is here. Let's see if there are any others. Yes, uh, here there are two more, so I know this row has a zero, but therefore that one should be zero. So I already got six out of the eight zeros. Here's a seventh, and there's an eighth somewhere. Now maybe let's fill in the numbers that are already given, and then look at the multiplication cages, because they uh, will not, I mean the ones that are left at least, will not have a zero. For example, this one, 10 times is 2 times 5. I already have the 2 on the right hand side, so I know those two. This will be 2 times 7. This one, 15, will be 3 times 5. 7 times 1 for this guy. 6 times 7 for this one. 3 times 5. This is a very nice one. 49 b7 times 1 times 7. This is 3 times 1. And, um, yeah. It's going rather nicely. This, is, this one is interesting because here it says uh, 12 times. So there will be either be 2 times 6 or 3 times 4. And this one here has... Uh, 72 times, which um, could either be 6 times 6 times 2, but that's clearly not possible because of the 2s, or 3 times 4 times 6. So now I realize that uh, the 5 is the only option for that cell. And there you go. Here we have left a 1 and a 2. And because of the 2 times 7 here, that's the ordering. That will give me this one, 3 times 1. Because of the 0 here, this one, and also actually because of the 0 here, uh, this cage cannot be 4 plus 0. It will have to be 3 plus 1. So this one is a 7 and a 1. So this is going rather... Well, a 6 and a 7. What do we have left here? A 4. Uh, moving on. Because of that 3, this 3 and this 4 goes away. Because of this 3, here we get a 5 and a 3. This 3 goes away. Automatically, this will be a 4 or a 6. The next uh, cage to look at could be this one down here, the 2 minus, because what do we have left in this row? Uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, so this could be a 2 and a 4, or a 4 and a 6. This means that the 5 should go here or here. 
another elimination step uh, is we could do here at the top. So in this column, there's four, five, six left for each of them. There's a five already here, so that five goes away. But if this cage is one minus and this cell has a four or a six, this must be a five. In the top row, there's two, four, six left. So we knew one of these two, one of these two should have a two. Whoops, uh, or a four or a six. Looking at this 12 times and 72 times. So we're, we don't know yet if this is 4, 3 or 6, 2. But if it's 4, 3, then the other two will be 6, 2. And if it's 6, 2, the other one will be 4, 3. So these two cells will make 12, no matter what. Therefore, this must be a 6, because 6 times 12 is 72. And this must be a 4. Um, oh, interestingly, I missed... Uh, I also missed that there's a 2 here and a 2 here. So I already knew this would be 4, 3. And now because of that 4, I know the ordering. So I know these will actually be 6, 2. This one will be 4 minus 0 minus 2. Or 7 minus 4 minus 1. That's the one that works. 7 and a 1. Now looking maybe at this 9 plus cage in the top middle. If this is a 6, this is either 6, uh, 3, 0, for example like this, or 6, 2, 1, which clearly isn't possible. So it can't be a 6. It has to be a 4 or a 2. Moving down to the third row, let's see where the 5 goes. Well, here's 4, 6, 2, 6, 2, 7. So the 5 has to go here, here, or here. If the 5 is here, this would have to be a 4 or a 6, neither of which is possible. So there cannot be a 5. So this cage has to hold uh, 0 and 5. And then looking at what's left here, well, not a 2, because of this 2, 7, 2, 6. Uh, no 3, 1, 4, 6, or 7. But if it's a 7, this would have to be a 6, not possible. And a 4 is not possible, so this must be a 6. Therefore, this must be a 4. 2, 6 here, 7, 2 here. This must be a 6. Now we're going rather well. This is a 5 or a 7. Now what about uh, the bottom row? I see these two 1-minus one, uh, one minus cages, and the numbers that are left in this row are 2, 3, and 5, 6. But look here. 2, 3 not possible in this cage because of the 2 and the 3 above it. So this must be 5, 6. And this must be 2, 3. Going up again, look at what's left here for this 9 plus cage. So in this row I have left 3, 4 and 7. Clearly can't be 7 because of the 7 here and it would have to be 7 plus 1 plus 1. So this must be 3 and 4 in this ordering, plus 2 makes 9, so this is a 4 and a 7, because those are just the numbers that are left. No 2 here, no 4 here, so this will become 6 and 4, 5 and 6, 0, 5, uh, let's see what's left here. 
a 1 and a 0. Interesting, there's the last 0. For a moment I thought a 1 and a 2, but of course this puzzle is from 0. 5, 3, I'm now filling out, uh, we're filling in the rest of the puzzle. 13, must be 6, six and 7. 2, 3, 5, 2. All right. That's great. Uh, this was, I think, this was an interesting puzzle. Some of the steps, I mean, it, 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 it they seemed all um, natural and logical, but finding them was sometimes was sometimes tricky. I hope you um, enjoy this, uh, and let me know what other puzzles you'd like to see solved in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.